All right, in this video, we're gonna discuss the least squares estimators, um, in particular, their expected values. So we're gonna show that they are unbiased estimators. So recall in the previous video, we found the estimator for beta naught, which is B zero, uh, or B naught, equals Y bar uh, minus B one times X bar, and B one, is s x y divided by s x x okay um so to show that these are unbiased estimators uh we did previously talk about assumptions for this model but i think it's really important to know which assumptions you're using and when you're using them um so we are going to need the assumptions that x um, i are non-random okay and that the expected value of epsilon sub i equals zero. Okay, so these are the two model assumptions that we will be using to show that these are unbiased estimators. Okay. All right, so starting with the um, expected value of B1. All right, let's do the expected value of B1, which is gonna be equal to the expected value of s x y divided by s x x. Okay, now the denominator s x x does not include y, right? And x is non-random. So this is going to be equal to the expected value of s x y divided by s, x, x, right? We don't need to, uh, or well, the expected value of a constant is just itself, right? So it's not random, so it's basically treated kind of like a constant, so it's just itself, okay? So this is going to be equal to the expected value, okay? S, x, y is the sum of x sub i minus x bar times y sub i minus y bar, okay? All of that divided by s x x. Okay, so I mean over i equals one to n. All right, so we can, well, we can distribute this, um, this y, so let me do this and let me color code this. So I'm gonna multiply y i by this guy, and then I'm going to multiply y bar by this guy, okay? And when I do that, things simplify a little bit. So let me go ahead and do that. So this equals the expected value of the sum from y equals i equals one to n of x sub i minus x bar times y i okay then that uh minus the sum from y equals i equals one to n of x sub i minus x bar okay times y bar okay close those parentheses and keep our denominator now this sum here, okay, it's relatively easy to show that that equals zero, and we did discuss it in a pre previous video, okay? So when you sum over um, x sub i minus x bar from i equals one to n, you'll get zero. So that basically deletes that term out back. So I'm left with the expected value of this sum. Actually, let me pull, let me pull my constants out because, well, I'll go ahead and write it first. So the expected value of this sum okay, divided by s x x. Now, these are constants out front here, right? Anything involving just x is a constant. So this is all just a constant. The only thing that is a, you know, that, that is random is that y. So this is the sum from i equals one to n 
of x sub i minus x bar times the expected value of y. Okay, now recall yi equals beta 0 plus beta 1 x sub i plus that error term. So the expected value of yi, this is just a constant, x is a constant, x is non-random. The only thing that's random is our error. But the error, the expected value of the error is zero. Okay. So, let's go ahead and plug that in. x sub i minus x bar times beta 0 plus beta 1 times x sub i. Okay, divided by s x x. All right, so let's see what we have here. I can now distribute. Let me go ahead and do this. I'll distribute this, multiply this by this, and multiply this one. Let me use the color green. Okay, so I'm left with equals this sum. Okay, times beta zero plus the sum times beta one x sub i. Okay, and we still have that denominator. Okay, okay. So we see here, once again, this here zeroes out, right? Because this doesn't involve i, so this is going to zero out, all right? Now this back here, this is not zero out because we have this xi in the back. So when I rewrite this, okay, I have beta one can be pulled out of the sum since it doesn't involve i. And I have times x sub i. Okay. All right. And this is the same thing as this. Right? Um, and you can show this relatively easily by just distributing this xi here and this xi x bar here and you'll get, you'll get that these guys are exactly the same. So this is exactly the same as this. It's relatively easy to show. Okay? Uh, just distribute and you'll see that they're the same thing. And the reason why I did it like that is because now we can clearly see that this this back piece is just sxx. Okay? And so when you divide by SXX, right, these guys become one. So you're left with the expected value of B1 equals beta one, right? And so that's an unbiased estimator, good to go. Okay, now let's do the same thing for the expected value of B0. Don't worry, it's gonna be a lot easier. So this is the expected value of y bar minus b1 times x bar, okay? So this is the expected value of y bar minus, okay, x bar is a constant, so it can be pulled out of the expected value. Okay, it's non-random, okay? Now the expected value of y bar, let's rewrite that as one over n times the sum of x of yi minus x bar. Now we know the expected value of b1 because we just found it, it's beta one. Okay, let's pull out the one over n out of the expected value and we can pull out the sum and we get the expected value. So from i equals one to n, the expected value of yi. Okay, and we know the expected value of yi. We showed it previously. The expected value, oh, let, let me erase that, let me use different color. So the expected value of yi is beta zero plus beta one times xi. Okay, 
So this equals one over n times the sum from i equals one to n of beta zero plus beta one times xi. Okay, and then out back we still have that minus x bar beta one. Okay, so let's distribute that sum. Okay, uh, plus uh, beta one over n times the sum of x sub i minus x bar beta one. All right, so notice that this here is x bar, right? So this is the same thing. Oh, and when you sum, when I sum beta naught uh, n times, since it doesn't involve an i, I'm gonna get n of them. So I'll have one over n times n beta naught, okay? Plus beta one times x bar minus x bar beta one, okay? So we see here that this n cancels and we're left with beta naught and then also these back pieces cancel, right? Beta one times x bar minus x bar times beta one, they're the same thing, so they cancel each other. And we're left with the expected value of b naught equals beta naught, and that's what we would want. So these are unbiased estimators.